Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for Calkine Media. Welcome to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today, I'm speaking with David Levy. Now, David is the Managing Director of Chemex Materials. Chemex is a materials technology company focused on providing critical materials required for electrification and decarbonization. Thanks for joining me today, David. Thanks for having me. Good to speak to you. Now, firstly, could you just tell us a little bit more about Chemex? Uh, Chemex Materials is a, a materials technology company that's currently got three projects. It's uh, got two exploration projects on the Air Peninsula that are, um, we're looking at kaolin and halosite, uh, and also manganese. Um, and the manganese is, um, we're looking at that for a uh, lithium battery cathode material. And we've got a novel technology to produce high purity alumina, alumina which is uh, part of the critical battery materials um, suite. And we're, uh, that process is uh, currently under development for a, a pilot plant, which Primero is, is undertaking a uh, pre-feasibility study on for, uh, for Chemex. Excellent. Now, Chemex recently joined the Global Battery Alliance. How can this alliance help in establishing a sustainable and responsible battery value chain globally? Uh, the Global Battery Alliance has a, a stated aim of fostering a circular, responsible and just um, battery supply chain uh, through mechanisms to, uh, to drive a circular battery process. Um, through this, they create a, a low carbon economy and also a, um, a much fairer and, and just system for all of the uh, stakeholders in the battery supply chain. Uh, this aligns very well with what Chemex is aiming to do. Uh, our strategy is very much focused on developing technologies and materials that enable the move to a lower carbon economy while providing benefits to, uh, to those uh, impacted, uh, all the stakeholders that are impacted uh, during our processes. We must mention your listing on the ASX on the 18th of January. How has that journey been so far? Um, the IPO was very well supported. We had strong institutional support from battery materials focused funds in, in the US, in Europe and Singapore, uh, together with sophisticated retail investors here in Australia. Since listing, um, We've been very busy preparing out for the maiden drill program on our Air Peninsula projects, the, the Kimber Kalen project and the Jamison Tank Manganese project. On the uh, High Pura HPA project, we're, all, we're currently constructing a, a bench scale micro plant that's capable of producing about five kilos a day of HPA. We expect to have this built and commissioned uh, early in, in Q2. And last week we announced that we'd engage Primero to undertake a, a pre-feasibility study on the pilot plant. So the pilot plant will be capable of producing around a tonne per day. Um, we expect the feasibility to, to be completed um, late in the second quarter or early third quarter. Um, and we're also currently in the market for a, a chief operating officer as the start of building out our team to be able to d deliver on these projects. Excellent. Well, hopefully someone's listening to this interview and they may apply. Now, Chemex Materials has executed a drilling contract with J.R. McLeod for the Maiden 6,300 metre program. Could you please talk to me about the progress made here and your future expectations for this? Certainly. So we've secured the services of J.R. McLeod Drilling. They're a, a driller local to the uh, Air Peninsula projects that we have and have, have worked on them before. Um, we expect the drilling to, to commence within the next week or two. Um, there's been a significant amount of rain on the Air Peninsula and so we've been waiting for the, the ground conditions to be suitable. Uh, the key outcomes from the exploration program will be to further uh, delineate the extent of the, the kale and, and the manganese mineralisations for the respective projects and to provide uh, samples for, for assaying. In particular, the focus of the manganese, as I mentioned, is on the development of a uh, cathode grade manganese product. So we've currently got test work underway, but uh, samples from this drill program will enable us uh, to continue this work and, and undertake larger scale um, bench scale work. Excellent. And David, could you tell me about the in-house processing method you have to supply the lithium ion battery, LED and semiconductor industries? 
Certainly. The Hypura HPA technology is an innovative technology that will allow Chemex to quickly develop both the, the uh, micro plant and the pilot plant. The construction um, and commissioning optimization of the micro plant will feed directly into the, the pre-feasibility study for the, for the pilot plant. Um, production from the, the micro plant will allow us um, to start the qualification project process with potential off-takers uh, and buyers very quickly. Um, the key benefits of the Hypura technology are that uh, firstly it's scalable, allowing us to scale up production uh, relatively simply as demand increases. So we, we won't have uh, potentially excess capacity early in the project. Uh, it's modular, so we can have multiple production facilities close to the end buyers. Um, and importantly, it isn't reliant on um, feedstock from a, a mining operation. So this reduces the, the time uh, and cost of development and also reduces the operational risk because we're not running a mining process as well as a, a, a HPA process. Um, the, the process also will have significantly lower carbon footprint than, than incumbent processes. Thanks. Well, that leads me to my last question, David. How do you envision the growth potential of the energy transition for sustainability in Australia? And what do you expect for the future of Chemex? Uh, 2022 will be a significant foundational year for Chemex. Um, following the IPO, we're well funded to deliver on the projects that we currently have. We'll, we'll be operating the micro plant once it's been commissioned and by the end of the year be well into construction on the pilot plant. The marketing of our HPA um, we will start in the, the second quarter, allowing us to develop the, the key relationships with potential customers and start the qualification process. On the Air Peninsula uh, projects, uh, the results from the exploration program that we're about to undertake uh, will identify the, the best way to move forward with each one of the, the Kimber Kalem project and the Jamison Tank Manganese projects. Well, it absolutely sounds like a very busy year for Chemex. Thanks so much for your time today, David. Thank you very much. Thank you. And with that, I will say goodbye now. But remember to stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.